Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I'm an economist and a content creator in the Washington DC area. I create a bunch of lifestyle, productivity, and wellness journey vlogs. So if you're into that sort of thing and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday. So usually on Sundays, I do something similar to my Sunday reset, which I have posted on my channel before. So if you haven't checked out my Sunday reset routine, make sure to check that out. However, if you've been following me for a while, you already know that I'm in my busy season at work. So things are a little bit different during this time. I honestly struggle to find any time to relax. So whenever I do have time off, I just try to relax and spend some time with myself um, to kind of like rejuvenate because I'm working a lot of overtime and the work that I do is very mentally strenuous. So when some my mind gets exhausted then my whole body feels very fatigued so I have to be very intentional about taking self-care and all of that so with all of that said I am not going to be doing my normal Sunday routine of cleaning and groceries and all of that that I would usually do I am just trying to survive during this busy season and also find ways to take care of myself during this period but with that said I have a lot to do so today's gonna be a somewhat productive vlog productive day in my life which I know that y'all enjoy as well and it wouldn't be a productive day in my life without creating a to-do list so I'm gonna do that because I kind of have like a jumble mixture of things that I need to get done for my home for myself and I also actually need to work today so it's kind of like a work day in my life but on the weekend as well it's not gonna be a full eight hours I'm sure but it is definitely gonna be a good little chunk of my day so before I log into work I want to do something for myself I'm gonna clean up the living room a little bit I want to vacuum there's like crumbs everywhere and I just cannot live like this but I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog if you do don't forget to give this video a thumbs up make sure to leave a comment down below so we can chat and with all of that said let's get into the day Lightning stricken cactus and it starts to rain the Smell of steamed asphalt scented Novocaine Nature's brew of all kinds of things The mountain sunk hill sky color schemes Makes you forget about all types of things You remind me of the Arizona thunder Satisfy the time about the bigger picture in your life The simple times in the Arizona thunder The Arizona thunder tonight Stop looking in my eyes Are you cold? Do you want to sit down? I've been here a million times So I know my way around So I just finished cleaning up the kitchen and cleaning up the living room a little bit Again, this isn't like my normal Sunday reset routine or anything. This is just me trying to have like a cleaner space while I'm in my busy season. And yeah, I just couldn't have it be too messy because then I feel like that affects my mood. I don't know about y'all, but if I have a cleaner, if I have a clean home, it just feels like, I don't know. It lifts my mood, you know? Anyway, I wanted to share with you all, I got this new flavor of cream cheese when 
I ordered my groceries yesterday on Amazon Fresh. It's like this honey butter flavored cream cheese and I thought that sounded really, really good. So I'm gonna test this out. I got some plain bagels to try it out with and I'll let y'all know if I recommend. I feel like I'm gonna like it, but we'll see. work now. I just tried out these bagels and the honey butter flavored cream cheese is really really good. I def recommend. I like it because it's like a hint of honey and it's not too sweet. I don't like when things are too sweet unless I'm having it with like black coffee like for example a donut. I like donuts but I don't really like having donuts just by themselves because then it's too sweet for me. This is the perfect amount of sweetness. I really like it. I enjoy it. You should try it. You could probably just get regular cream cheese and add honey honestly but I decided to be extra Extra. So I'm gonna sign into work, but first I want to make a to-do list. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll share with you all what, what the plans are for the rest of the day. my to do is for today I always separate my to do's by morning and afternoon so in the morning I wanted to clean up my kitchen and the living room make coffee and breakfast which I already did but I like to write it down so that I can still cross it off to get that feeling of accomplishment because I mean I did do it and it is complete so it counts I added signing into work and three bullet points because they're gonna be very specific to my work and I can't really share what it's gonna be and then I also need to edit a weekly vlog that I vlogged the last week. I told you all yesterday that I wasn't going to publish a video today because honestly, I just needed Saturday to rest. I didn't want to be editing the entire day, which is what would have happened if I would have tried to rush and get an entire week's worth of vlogging done the night before. So I took yesterday to just rest and relax. And today, as you can see, I'm gonna work. So I definitely needed that rest. But once I'm done with this part of my work day, then I'm gonna be able to actually start editing the weekly vlog and it'll probably take me a couple of days because I don't want to do it all in one sitting that sounds absolutely terrible there's 120 clips so yeah I definitely don't want to do it all but I'm gonna do that today and then I'm supposed to do like a photo shoot like I asked my boyfriend if he would take pictures of me in the three merch items that I have on me so that I can get those ready for the website for my website it's so weird to say but it's so gloomy outside and it might rain today so I might not be able to do that, but exciting merch update. So I was inspired by my friend Tess because she's also releasing her merch probably before me because she was smart and actually purchased all of her merch products at once. And so, you know, I, I didn't do that, but she inspired me to do that. So even though it was kind of expensive to get every single item, like obviously I don't expect any of you to get every single item because it's expensive for me. And then I have to make it a bit more expensive to you all so that I can get somewhat profit or at least get it back to zero. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive than I would have hoped so I completely understand if you all don't purchase anything or if it takes you a while you want to save up for something then I totally feel you like no pressure. The reason that it's like a little bit more expensive is because shipping is really expensive for whatever reason. Maybe it's the company that I did but anyway I'm still trying to figure out the numbers on that like what exactly to charge in order to make sure that I'm not losing money anyway that's a whole other thing but I but an exciting update to the merch is that yesterday I ordered pretty much every single thing off of my site that I'm hoping to sell so I should be getting that in the next one to two weeks and once I do then then I'm for sure going to you know take a picture in all of the items that I'm going to be selling and then I'll be able to put that up on my site and then at that point everything should be ready to go to launch my merch so I'm very nervous
nervous and also very excited. I think that you're gonna like it. I'm very hard on myself creatively. Like I don't think that I'll ever create something and then be 100% happy with it. And I think it's just gonna take practice. So I hope that y'all like it. I'm excited for it. But that's the little merch update. I shared with you all the to-dos for the day. And now it's time to get to work. So I will see you all later. random little side note so I just logged into my computer and I signed in which just means that I sent an email to my team letting them know I'm signing in that's like how we sign in and sign out for the day and two of my other co-workers have already been working for like the past half hour so that just goes to show that the busy season you truly are expected to work overtime sign in on the weekends work late night in order to meet deadlines so here we are just wanted to share that little side note but time to work Okay, so I've been working, my hair is a mess. I've been working for the last couple of hours and I just feel very like stiff. So I moved my desk into a stand, into the standing position so I can stand and work. But I also wanna do a few stretches and take a little mental break from my work because it's a lot of analytical work, a lot of critical thinking and all of that that I'm doing today. So I'm gonna take a little five minute break, do some stretches. And then I think I'm also gonna do, I'm also going to make my to-do list for tomorrow because I had mentioned to you all oh my gosh the lighting is terrible there you go so I had also mentioned to you all in a previous video that I had gotten a bunch of nasty gal sets and I already had a nasty gal set that I really like to use for my work from home for my work from home fits just like as loungewear to wear around my apartment and I told you all I was gonna make a work from home outfit haul video to kind of have everything in one place with all of the links and everything of my favorite work from home outfits so I think I'm gonna try to film that tomorrow during my lunch so i'm gonna try to prepare everything today including making my to-do list today for tomorrow so that tomorrow all i have to worry about is just like getting it done and so part of that also means i'm gonna make sure i wash my clothes and have it all ready and prepared and like folded up in one section so that tomorrow all i have to do during my lunch is like do my hair and makeup real quick and then start filming so i'm really excited for that i also want to make sure that i plan it plan my day ahead of time because obviously my my work is just very busy so if I plan ahead of time my day will just run more smoothly and because during the week Monday through Friday I'm really trying to wake up at 6 30 a.m. or earlier I feel like when I have something planned to do when I wake up it gives me like motivation to get out of bed because I know what I have to do and this week what I want to try to do like I did last week was wake up get my workout in or whatever type of movement in before I start my day it just made me feel so much better so I'm gonna do that but first some stretches It is just after 2 p.m. and I got really hungry. So I went and warmed up some leftovers, some shrimp that my boyfriend's sister made for her son's birthday party that we went to and she had leftovers. So I'm having that and I'm just gonna eat while I work because like I said, it's already 2 p.m. and I still have quite a bit of work that I have to do some more data analysis write up some more questions about data that kind of doesn't make sense to send out to the corresponding states. And I need to get that done today so that I can meet some other deadlines that are due tomorrow on Monday. So I'll check in with you all hopefully when I'm all done. It's almost 
almost 4 p.m. I just signed out of work and I got everything that I needed to get done today. So hopefully tomorrow things will run a little bit more smoothly. So now for the rest of my Sunday afternoon, I'm not sure if I want to get a workout in or just do some more cleaning around the apartment, but I for sure need to put away the dishes. And I also wanna see about ordering some prints finally for my living room. I think I'm gonna just get them from Desenio because they send them to you already printed which just takes out all the trouble with trying to find the right size poster. I looked at all these different places like CVS, Walgreens, Costco and none of them had the exact size of the Ikea frames that I have so I think I might just order them from Desenio but I need to choose them. But first time to unload the dishwasher. <laughs> It's currently 7. Come on. Come on. It's currently 7 10 p.m. and I'm pretty much done with everything that I needed to do today. I am still editing a vlog. It's a weekly vlog, so it's gonna take me a few days. I'm barely on, barely starting on Wednesday. I just wanted to check in. I feel like today was kind of a mix of all kinds of stuff. Like I just brought you all along the day with me today. I hope that you all enjoyed spending the day with me, just getting some stuff done that I needed to get done, some work that I needed to get done. The laundry's ready, so I'm gonna do some laundry tonight as well. But thank you all so much for spending the day with me. You always make my days so much better, so thank you so much. If you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and make sure to leave a comment down below so we can chat. I respond to every single comment. Oh, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you definitely should. I post new stories every single day. And with all of that said, I will see you all in the next video.